world, Scotty D. Welcome to another What's Up Wednesday, the weekly series that is of you, for you, by you, and about you. I'm merely your puppet and your servant, answering your questions or covering your topics of interest. And if you are new to What's Up Wednesday, it's a brand new year. Let me give you a quick rundown on how this series works on my channel. I post a brand new What's Up Wednesday video every single Wednesday, just so long as you get involved and submit your questions or topics of interest to me, because it's a show of you, for you, and about you. And there's no limit to how many times you can submit questions or topics of interest. You can submit several a week, several a day, several an hour. It doesn't matter to me, just so long as you get involved and submit your questions or topics of interest to me. And you can do this in one of two ways, via email or Twitter. The email account is scott at scottydonline.com and the Twitter account is at scottydonline. Both are in the video description below for easy find and easy use. And if I happen to pick you for that particular week's What's Up Wednesday, I'm going to give you a plug and promote your YouTube channel because you deserve some recognition for getting involved with What's Up Wednesday. And I'm going to give you that by plugging and promoting your YouTube channel to drive some traffic over to what you're doing over on your channel. And as well as I will plug and promote any social media project that you are working on or you are involved with because you're proud of it and you want people to know about it. Well, it will happen right here on What's Up Wednesday. This week's What's Up Wednesday comes by way of email from Kenneth in the Techertainment community who also has the handle Alumni the Third on his YouTube channel. And I'll put a link to Kenneth's YouTube channel in the video description below so you can easily find that as well as some other social media links that Kenneth wants to promote. Now, I will come out and say, Kenneth has told me that his YouTube channel is brand new. He doesn't know what he's going to be doing with it yet, but you'll have the link nonetheless so you can find his channel very, very easily. Now, Kenneth writes in his email, Hello, my name is Kenneth, and I've recently reviewed your interesting video on YouTube. I don't know what video he's watched because he doesn't mention it. Yet, I have had a bundle of questions to ask and hoping I could get a correct or satisfying answer from another with wisdom and knowledge. Thank you so much. I, I'm, I'm humbled by that, but I will try my best. My first question is for you, is simply between a microphone and a tablet. For one, I cannot seem to get my microphone, which is a Samson R31S with a neodymium magnet cartridge to work with my Android tablet device. Yes, I possess the right attachments to connect them together, but it just will not allow me to record through the mic, only through the tablet. With that said, I'm not quite sure if I'm using a decent microphone to record with on my tablet. Please help me with this subject. I would very much appreciate it. First off, I needed to find out what Android tablet Kenneth is using because there are so many different Android tablets out on the market that I wanted to give close attention to the specific Android tablet that Kenneth is using. And he's using the Android S8 Black Polaroid tablet. Now this is an entry level Android tablet from what I can discern. Uh, it can be found in many retail establishments. Uh, it ranges anywhere from $125 on down to, I found it as low as $53 online this morning. And also uh, the microphone that he's using, the Samsung R31S microphone is also a entry level microphone. And it comes by default with a quarter inch to XLR cable. The XLR end goes into the microphone. The quarter inch would then go into a mixer or whatever that you're plugging the microphone into. Now, the Android tablet doesn't have a quarter inch input, so he did use a step-down adapter to get it from quarter inch to the uh, size of plug that would allow him to plug this into the uh, input of the Android tablet. But that's where uh, it gets a little sketchy. From what I was able to discern uh, of the Polaroid S8 tablet, it looks like on the bottom, and I could be looking at the wrong uh, uh, flavor of this one, but this one is the S8 Polaroid uh, tablet, and it has a couple volume rocker knobs on the bottom. It has a uh, micro uh, SD uh, slot on the bottom, it looks like. Um, there is a small adapter uh, or or plug input area that it looks like you can plug something into. Um, then next to that is a uh, micro USB and a micro uh, HDMI. Um, hopefully that's the same one that you have. Um, now the area that you're plugging the small uh, plug into, uh, that appears to only be a headphone out on that Android tablet. So 
it wouldn't matter what type of plug you use, um, albeit the one that I did see in the picture that you sent me, Kenneth, uh, it looks like the step-down adapter that you're using takes the quarter inch from the tip sleeve uh, type of configuration that is common on most uh, quarter inch plugs for uh, a mono signal. And it looks like you're using a tip ring sleeve uh, adapter to step that down to be able to plug that into your Android tablet. So that in and of itself might cause some issues, but either or uh, on an Android tablet, there is a big consternation out in the industry right now from Android users versus iOS users on Apple tablets. Uh, and that's because Apple, uh, for a very, very long time, has had a really nice mic. And I've mentioned this mic before on other videos. It's the Apogee mic. And this mic comes with uh, provisions to directly plug this mic into a uh, iPad and be able to use this directly on an iPad uh, very easily. Uh, on the Android tablets, however, there's really not been a really smooth way uh, up into recent to get a, uh, a external microphone to work inside of the, uh, the Android uh, operating system. Um, but there is now. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, I hate to tell you this, but you might need to just ditch the entire cable configuration that you have, potentially even ditch the microphone that you're using, uh, unless you can get that Samsung R31S microphone to work with a USB type interface. Now, uh, there are plenty of USB microphones out there. You can get a blue microphone that's USB. You can get uh, an Audio-Technica uh, USB mic. There are tons of different USB mics out there uh, that would simplify your cable configuration. Uh, but what you need to do is you need to step away from the quarter-inch to mini plug uh, because that's not going to work, at least from what I can discern from this specific uh, Android tablet and the Android operating system in general. So what you need to do is get yourself a micro USB to USB female adapter. And I'll put a link in the video description below where you can uh, get these uh, items that I'm talking about directly so you don't have to hunt around for these things. Um, get a micro USB to USB female adapter and then get a, uh, a USB microphone or a audio interface that has a USB um, uh, capability on it and be able to plug that into the female portion of this adapter. Now, after that, you're going to need to get a specific app from the Google Play Store. Um, this is the only one that I found so far. There may be others out there, and if you happen to be watching this video and you know of other apps that are very uh, useful for recording with an external mic via a USB into an Android tablet, drop it in the comment below. Uh, but the app that I was able to find is the USB Audio Recorder Pro by Extreme Software Development. And now this um, this app runs, uh, I want to say right around $5 US, could be a little bit less, uh, but that's what I was able to discern. And um, what you need to do once you get this app is install the app first. And then uh, don't start the app up. Take the USB, the micro USB to female USB adapter, plug that into your tablet, then plug your microphone or interface in, in the off position, and then start up the app. Uh, when you start up the app, then you're going to want to uh, turn on the microphone, and you're going to need to give permission to the app to use that audio interface into the audio recorder pro now when you do that you will have no problem from what i can discern recording with an external mic into your android tablet just as long as you follow those steps now uh, again i don't know what the limitation of android operating system is on your polaroid tablet but these are things that I found that work. Now, this specific configuration that I'm talking about seems to work very well with a Nexus 7 tablet. So if it works with a Nexus 7 tablet, does that mean it's going to work with your Polaroid Android tablet? Not necessarily, because uh, in the Android arena, not all tablets are treated or created equally. So just keep that in mind that what I'm telling you right now seems to work very well with the Nexus 7 tablet. And I can't confirm uh, that it would work uh, successfully with your Polaroid tablet. But it seems to be the 
more effective way to use an external mic recording into an Android tablet via the micro USB input on your Android tablet. So hopefully that works. Again, I will put a link to everything in the video description below where you can get what I'm talking about. Try it out and see, drop a comment below and let us know your experiences. If you happen to know a better way or a more efficient way to record with an external mic into an Android tablet, uh, other than what I've described in this video, drop a comment below so uh, Kenneth can uh, know. It's all about sharing your experiences here on What's Up Wednesday and helping each other out. If you want to be featured on a future What's Up Wednesday, just like Kenneth was on this week's What's Up Wednesday, it's real simple to do so. All you have to do is get your questions or topics of interest into me via email or Twitter. The email account, scott at scottydonline.com, and the Twitter account is at scottydonline. Both are in the video description below for easy finding and easy use by you. And oh, this t-shirt right here, you want to get one for yourself? This is my Be Positive Life Is Too Short t-shirt. You can find it in my gear store at gear.scottydonline.com. That link is also in the video description below. Until the next What's Up Wednesday, we'll see you next time, web world. I almost forgot. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with everybody that you know. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. And if you already are subscribed to this channel, thank you very, very much.